In this Grasshopper video tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the Image Sampler component, and that's available in the Params tab under the Special section. You can drag and drop the Image Sampler to the Grasshopper canvas, right-click over it, and choose an image to reference from somewhere on your computer, or you can drag and drop an image file directly to the Grasshopper canvas, and it will automatically load it in an Image Sampler component. Before we begin connecting anything to the Image Sampler, we're first going to right-click over the image and open the settings for this image sampler component. And there's several things we're going to need to change. The first is the domain of the image in both X and Y. And you can see that it's 0 to 1 by default. Think of this domain as Rhino units. So if you'd like it to cover 30 Rhino units in both X and Y, then enter 0 to 30 and 0 to 30. We'll also want to sample this image only in blacks and whites, so I'm going to click on Color Brightness, and that will sample it in just the light and dark values for each pixel. So that blue border will be referenced as black and white. And lastly, we'll check the Interpolate box here, and click OK. And you can see the image looks like black and white now. The next step under the Vector tab is to create a rectangular grid of points. And we'll turn off the preview for this rectangular grid of points. And I'll need several number sliders here. And the first number slider is going to be for the spacing. So I'll leave it as floating point, And I'll change it from 0.2 in the lower limit to 5 in the upper limit. And I'll drag that into both the x and y spacing for the grid. And the next number slider will be the extents of the grid. And I'm going to change this to be integers and it's going to go from 2 to 200. And I'm going to use this same number slider for x and y extents. And the next step is to take the rectangular grid of points and drag it into the image sampler component. Then under the curve tab, I need some geometry to affect with these values that we're sampling. So I'm going to make a circle that is defined by its center, normal, and radius. And the center point for each one of those circles will also be from the grid of points. And the radius is going to come from the image. Now the circles are rather large and they're overlapping right now. So what we'll do is divide the value coming out of the image sampler component by another number to make it smaller. So under the scalar tab, I'll choose the division component, and I want to divide all the data coming out of the image sampler by some other number. So I'm going to repurpose the slider from the grid spacing. So I'll control copy, control paste that, and then edit that value to be slightly higher so that we have a little bit more room to move. And I'll take that and divide the value for the radius of each circle. And that will keep the circles from intersecting. Now if I zoom out here, you can see that the image is beginning to tile. And that has to do with the grid extents. So if I lessen the grid extents, then it's just once. Now what you can also do is right click over this image and choose to clamp the image. By default it's on tile. So if we choose clamp and then we make the grid extents larger, you'll see that it no longer affects the grid of points. You can also choose to flip the image and then it will create mirror images as it continues to grow. And once you've got this set up, you can drag and drop some other images into the scene if you'd like. Uh, but remember the things that you'll have to do to the image sampler component in order for this to work. Um, here's another image, and immediately comes in as an image sampler component. And even though this image of the tree is black and white here, what I'm still going to need to do is right-click over it, choose settings, change the domain, Sample only color brightness, 
and also interpolate it. So even though it's black and white, sample only color brightness. And then OK. And I'm going to disconnect the Rhino logo here for a second and just replace this image right here. So after you've done the hard work, you can swap out images and change the spacing and also the grid extents. So if you would like more detail in your image of the tree here, you need to make more points in the grid and then decrease the spacing of the grid. And then once you've done that, go over into the number that divides the value of the circles and increase that in order to keep them from intersecting. And that's how you use the image sampler component to affect geometry in Grasshopper.